Welcome back, folks. I'm your host. That was an ugly picture. Armor Master. Oh. I don't need the intro now. Yeah, see? Nailed it. Boom! Got it. Get fired up, Hunter. All right, you guys not seen there's a previous <laughs> video on this truck. <laughs> You're <laughs> What do you say? Your kids. No. Kids are out of school for the summer, you can't tell. Anyway, there's a previous video on this truck. I'm going to link it down in the description below. Basically, we're taking a big old HETM 1070 heavy equipment hauler and turn it into a super sweet off road wrecker truck. So, last video we took all the stuff off the back of the truck, uh, put a drop valve in for the airbag so we can lower the air suspension. We did add on about 13 inches of frame rail back here, you guys can see right there. And we got this thing sitting on there, but it's just sitting there. So, I've been doing some figuring, fabbing, well not fabbing yet. You guys see I got some squiggly lines on here. So we got to attach this thing to the truck chassis, that's going to be our next plane of attack. Uh, we did mark, we got three holes way back in here. I did mark those, so we're going to have to drill those out. So next step is we're going to take this back off and uh, we'll take it outside, we'll take it off. And then uh, we're going to make some plates. Since this uh, frame is basically, the wrecker frame is like three quarters of an inch wider, right? Mm -hmm. So our truck rail is a standard 34 inch width. They made this about 34 and three quarters. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put, uh, instead of shimming it here, I'm going to cut out another three eighths plate here. We're going to plate this whole section, make it all a lot stronger there. It's going to shim that out the right width. And then uh, we're we'll going to probably have to use some shims here. We're going to do some frame drilling. We've got all kinds of stuff to do. So you guys might notice too, we've got a crack up here. It's got a big banana in it. So you guys see we've got a gap right here. So the reason they tell me they do that, we're supposed to fasten that back real tight. And then uh, we'll put some jacks down there, crank that uh, front down. And that's going to... Uh, put some tension on the bolt so keep stuff from loosening up but we'll get her fired up here and take her outside in a second. fired up we're gonna set this thing off
All right, boys are gonna, hunters gonna grind this stuff out so we can weld those plates on there. We got those three areas marked on each side. We're gonna go inside and do some uh, drilling. That's right. All right, give you guys a little closer look. This is the frame where we added in the last video. We're basically gonna, we got three holes here. We got to drill for the uh, record body. We're basically gonna lay another piece of 3 8 plate. We're gonna tie all this together, bolt it together. We may weld this seam around here probably on this piece of steel, then we'll bolt it to the truck chassis. So I'm gonna get some measurements and we'll get her cut out. Alright, got these uh, plates cut out. You guys can kind of see what we got going on. There's a base going to flip over there. Uh, all these holes is in this frame already, so we're going to utilize them. Uh, these are a bunch of 5 8 holes. And then we got these three we got to poke through here. We got our mag drill sitting over there. I think we're going to drill a little hole through here first so we got a reference. And then we'll uh, bolt this plate up here, then we'll poke back through with that hole. And uh, we're going to drill those out to 7 8 We'll probably pop a couple more holes in here just for strength and maybe. Maybe a couple in here. I'm going to have uh, Tucker, he gets back. I sent him t to town to get a couple fittings to tie in our hydraulics. Kevin's over here drilling a hole into another fitting to dump return oil back in the tank. So we'll show you that in a second. But I think we're going to weld this around here. And then, uh, like I say, a couple more bolts. Make her nice and super strong. I don't really want to do any more welding on the truck frame back here. So we're going to bolt everything from now on up through there. So, yeah, so we'll get some holes marked drilled. Then we'll get the mag drill set up and bring you guys back. Welcome back, folks. I'm your host. That was the ugly picture. Farmer Master. Oh, I just heard you busted it. No, I didn't. Perfect. Farmer is up, bud. Okay. Show everybody how you paint. Well, what is that I, what you do? I do like oh, gosh. Kevin thinks it's no nice fun. Nice Look at all them stripes. Nice and Hey, that's well through primer, ain't it? That's right. Does it say that? It looks like regular primer. Folks, don't listen to him. This is what I do on a daily basis. You get high on paint fumes? No, listen to my boss. <laughs> What's that say? Well, true too. That's right. You're welcome. Tiger now became a checkerboard. What would the Tiger King say about that? Yeah. So we're going to give that a little protection there. Start welding, bub. Then Tucker will show up. And you need to do this side right here. That's going to be sandwiched against. Then Tucker's going to show up and say, I can't weld through that. I wonder if he's ever seen weld through primer. So mm -hmm. what is that stuff's made? It's got zinc in it, right? Mm -hmm. I think. Yes. Sure. <coughs> Special. Quit spinning out in my van, Tucker. Tucker's here. Tucker's here. Oh, so we got. I need a wrench. Yeah. There you go. We got our plates bolted on here. We got a blower, three holes through here. Oh yeah, you put mics. We're in probably gonna put a couple more in yes. here, and then maybe one in there. I don't know. We got a lot of holes. We won't talk about those three there that don't line up yet. Get them tight. Oh, you're gonna get, I was gonna, hammer on them. I was gonna get them all. We're not doing precision torquing. On there, bud. <laughs> Action! Let me 
Hunter, you, you did good. Oh. 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 You got, got me, buff. That's what you get for wearing shorts. But I had that my brown right boots on. Boot. It about went down there and I about cried. And we about ended this whole episode. All right, all right. We're hard at it here. We got our plates pulled in. Guys got their oh three, seven, eight tolls. What's going on over here, welder man? I can't do uh, overhead or I guess that, apparently. Did you not learn that in school? Poop, poop. We just kind of welded whatever. You need your daddy to teach you? Well, what? What are you doing there? I just don't look at it. You need to grind that out. I know. Grinder. I'll help you with that. So, uh, we got our seven eighths holes back here. That's where the record body's gonna bolt to. We're gonna put uh, two more three quarters in here and tighten these up. We've gotta fix these holes here that somebody may have missed. What are you pointing at me for? I can't read your writing. Oh, please. And then you guys notice we got two holes here. We're gonna leave these. Tucker's gonna plug weld those things back up there, so. He threw it away. It was all three quarter numbers other than one, it was 10 and a quarter. Not so, three quarters. So, I'm getting so I cut these at ten and I cut these at ten and three quarters, not ten and a quarter. Right. You got to give me credit. All the other numbers are three quarters. Hey, you got it. We'll make it all right. the way till there. It's supposed to look like this one over here that we fixed. Look at that. Beautiful. Magic. It's about lunchtime, isn't it? That's right. Best part of the day. What did you do to your paint can, painter? I think someone sabotaged me. When you ripped that cap, cap off or they went, I painted the both sides inside. Put it back there. on there. All right, we got everything welded. This is not gonna fall off. If somebody rips this we off, the truck's gonna break in too. We need, I think we need, we need a hug. We need a friendship shirt for everyone today. We've got paint everywhere. Well, you guys can see we've got uh, Plenty of bolts right there is the end of the truck frame. So we welded back to that piece of metal we added the other day in the last video. Everything's welded there. Put a couple plug welds in it. We've got seven eighths holes drilled in here. That's uh, three quarter thick now. I should line up in the body, so that's going to clamp that together. And all these holes are existing holes in the frame already, so we didn't put any more holes in the frames. Uh, this one we just made bigger. We did drill one more there, so that is going to reinforce that very well. I'm if somebody rips that off, the truck's going to be broken too, right? Oh, gosh. Why don't we just get some regular primer? Painter man. <laughs> we just going to put a little primer on there before we set that body on here next. So we're ready for it, I think.
All right, we got her sitting on there. We're going to take the forklift and push it up a little bit and get her tweaked, and then we'll get some bolts in it. All right, we're going to take that thing to the other side of the shop and get it tweaked with the uh, forklift a little bit before we pull it inside. You guys might notice we're doing a little addition, that's why we're working on the front side of the shop. Ah. Be sure to go check out the video. I don't know what may come out after this one. Boy, Mason, it's hot out here. It is hot. Getting ready for concrete tomorrow. You can see, uh, go visit that video. You can see how those I beams and stuff are put in these floors. So. How's your mixing arms? Great. <laughs> yeah, I got like 2,000 bags of concrete, Mason. Got to mix it up. Quite there yet. No, no, no. We gave a guy a lot of room on these bolts, you know that? Yeah. Um, what's that there, a bolt? Hey Kevin, it would be smarter to run the bolts in from the other way where we can kind of thread them. We'll put the nuts on the outside. Is that changing your holes? You see what I'm saying now? Alright, we got our three bolts in back there. We got to tighten them up with the impact later. We can get this boom up when we get hydraulics to it. We got them snugged up right now, so once we get hydraulics hooked up, we can lift that boom up and get to it. So our next plan of attack is to uh, fasten this uh, bed down. So Jared Dan sent some plates. One plate's supposed to go right here, but as you guys see, we've got a big uh, steering box going on right there, and we've got this suspension mount, so we can't do that there. So we're going to put a plate in here and there, double that up, then the other one they got calls for up here. It goes around here. We got another suspension mount to deal with, but I think I've got a little trick for that. So uh, you guys might notice this big old gap in here. Like I may have said earlier, we're going to put, uh, they build that to put um, tension on this frame so the bolts don't come loose. So we'll probably put a bottle jack and a chain around there, jack that thing down there. So hopefully that makes sense. But uh, yeah, it's got an inch and a half of bow in it. So you ready to pull her in, Hunter? All right. jack in here we're jacking this thing down you're a good little jack Scooping this thing up. Right there. Right there. Right there. I like it. Pin her right down. She looked good. Sitting nice and flat now. Alright, where did this piece go? I cut Hunter. Good. Where's the other one? This is 
boring. He's good. Right. You see that super sweet angle? That's right, Bob. Going on our camera. Hey, Bob, you're killing it. Hey, don't I'm worry. Me and Hunter, we got yeah, our yeah, safety glasses, glasses on. on. Yeah. I'm not. We're ready. Not ready. It helps us. It helps us to see it. Helps. It's. Yeah. Adjusting. It takes a really long time for him to unadjust. That's good. All right, good job, Bob. Good job. Survey says she fits. That's right. Show we got those little shimmies that go behind Woo! there. So we got these little shims. One. Where's shimmy two? Ah, uh, it ran away. Anyways, we're you know gonna put some need, shims behind it. I need it. a grinder, man. Yeah, I know just the guy. Then we gotta put holes in that. I know just the guy. I'm gonna go cut another one out. Okay. This is what hard work looks like. Keep up the good work, Hunter. I'm watching. I feel terrible. My stomach hurts really bad. Uh oh. Yeah. I feel like Kevin right now. Do you need to go poop? Good job, Mason. Good job. How's it going here, folks? Well, you know. You got just, one more bolt. You got it just in time. One more bolt. So close. Old bolt. So, that one too long, got too much shoulder on it. Well, what, you need a short one? See, it's got too much shoulder. It won't go through there. Need one of the original ones. So, how's it going? We're almost ready for a tucker weld. Tucker welding? You guys see we've got a 3-8 spacer here. This is a plate. Man, they're loud. This is a plate that come in the kit. We modified it a little bit. Wrapped it around. Old bolt. I know. Some on the floor there. Oh. Some down there. So we're getting everything bolted up. And then uh, we're going to weld that. I'm just swinging it down there. It'll work. So I'm cutting out more plates over. I'll show you in a second. I got one here. I'm making all of our own plates. We're going to utilize all these original holes. We're not drilling any more holes in the frame. We're going to pick up these three holes, put another mount here. It's probably overkill, but we don't have to worry about it coming off. Here's the second second mounts I got cut out. How's it looking? Looking great, bub. Looking great. There's a plate for the other side. A lot of work that goes into these things, people don't realize how long it takes to do something like this and do it right where it won't come off. So I know whoever gets that truck is going to be doing things with it you shouldn't be. So. Got a whole other row of parts we're cutting out. Show you there, that's what we got going on now. This is going to be our third mount back. Spacer plates there, outside mounts here. Be well in that section right there. So, but, uh, I also said in the last video this plasma table will be for sale. So, anybody's looking for this thing, hit me up. We got a new one uh, that we're gonna get here. So, got some new steel coming in. 
Randy's back yeah. from his vacation. So we got uh, got all these plates bolted on. I had to clamp a couple of those up here. So we got uh, plenty of bolts in these things. Like I said earlier, it's called for one here, but we got two here. We've got more bolts than what they call for. This thing's way overkill. So got the other side all bolted up. The only thing left to do is to weld her up now. Peek over here. So put some plug holes in here so we'll weld those up solid. This is the plate they gave with the kit. They've got plug holes in there. We had to notch it around there, but feel very confident that's going to hold just fine. Like I said, we've got extra gussets up here, so we're going to get these welded up. And uh, next plan of attack is to get some hoses plumbed up to there, and we'll see if this thing works maybe. Hunter's over there welding away, just doing a root pass on everything. Looking pretty good. We got the jacks off there and everything stayed down, so we should be good. Um, I'm going to hook some hoses up here. So, on this record body, we got two feed lines right down here. You guys probably can't see them. What I'm going to try to do, we've got our two supplies for our big winches here. I'm going to try to tee into these and then uh, run my third one down to there on those. So. And then we're going to take the two return lines, take them back up to that tank. So, cross my fingers. I hopefully it works. Um, I've never done this before, but it's one way to find out. All right, got teed in there. Um, if that all works, we'll put some hose protector on there. We've got this cover that goes on there yet too. Um, also got some uh, controls up there and it's hard for you guys to see. But I'm gonna take these controls out here. That's the, basically the engine speed and uh, yeah, high and low speed for the winches and engine throttle. We're gonna move those down below later on. So I'm gonna get the other end of these hoses hooked up and then we'll look at the return lines. All right, welcome back. It's Monday after the weekend. Tucker's over here laying down some sick wells. Looking good. Hunter put a root pass on him the last you guys seen. Good. So, uh, I was gone Thursday and Friday. Kevin worked on the truck a little bit. I'm going to show you a couple things he's done. You guys know we got the uh, feed line hooked up. Um, Kevin also, I made this little panel here. Uh, we've got our airbag raising lower here. And we've got our engine high idle and uh, all that good stuff going down. So that was all up here. And he's transferred it all down here to uh, make it more operator friendly. Um, so what we're going to do next, we've got two return lines to hook up. They go from here. Remember we had that original tank here. We've uh, put a fitting on the end of here. We've got a T with two one inch outlets. So what we're going to do, uh, that tank originally had two filters on it. I'll show you out here. So here's the tank original unit. It's got two filters on it. So I think what we're going to do, um, I'm going to make a mount that uh, mounts these two filters up there. We're going to go ahead and put those in the system. Um, that way, if anything happens with that system, it's filtered before it goes into the other filter. It's kind of overkill, but uh, that should uh, should prove good if something crashes here. This record boom does have a warranty on it, so I'm trying to keep that warranty with it too. You what? Ooh, up. look at that. These YouTube people are going to tell you you did a good job. Not bad. Looks good. Covering up all your brother's root passes, aren't you? Yeah. Those well, don't have to be filled up full. They, they can just be another pass over those okay. if you want. So. Nice. You're covering up your root passes, ain't you? Making them beautiful, look beautiful, folks. Looks good, looks yeah. good. Action shot. Action shot. Oh, look at the action. How much? Oh, too far. 
You are definitely an overachiever today. I don't even know my own strength yet. It's right there behind you on the table. Ah. Right over there. Where's this one right now? The opposite. Okay, this way? Like that? This way. Yep. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, yeah. Why do I bend it that far? Hey, don't bend it that far, okay? Everyone wants to know how do you square these things up? Oh, look. You're a carpenter, too. You and your friends need to tell me when to stop. Oh. Oh, Nelly. Oh, somebody. Somebody get a square on that. Buddy. Beautiful. How do you start a video? I gotta act like Hi, you. my name's Tucker. I'm here filming Kevin. Hey the guys, kid. it's Tucker Chill with you. Today we are. What are we doing, know. Tucker? I don't even know. What's on Kevin's head? I, that's a good question. Did you question. even know they made a triangle that big? That's what you're supposed to say. You're supposed to <laughs> cut Kevin off at the knees. <laughs> Tucker, don't, don't follow that? It says fragile. Here. It's it says fragile. Fragile. No stack. Oh, the magnet got stuck. So, what are we hooking up, Tucker? Filters? Return filters? Sure. We made these super <laughs> sure. sweet custom brackets. Sure, I don't know what you're Show doing. Show the people your welds here. <laughs> Those are my good welds. You know, I never welded half inch steel before. No, they get, I do like four passes. It's not super pretty, but it's good enough. It's about as good as your daddy can do. That's all I matters. I don't know about that. These sure. ones aren't bad. Yeah. Yeah. So, we need to get your silver marker here, Tucker. And, uh, Marquis. Oh. oh, I think I just ripped my shirt. Probably did. I even put your little plug hole in there. You like that? I don't like doing plug holes. Do we need to put the. Well, what's the matter with your side, Kevin? It's like you got too many hoses. <laughs> it's just a little bit stronger than me right now. <laughs> Alright, we'll get these uh, marked and welded on here. Whoa, you about took out the camera, bud. It's difficult to do from this side. Difficult. That's why nobody else is doing this. Okay. Yeah, I'll say that every single time. I'll say something. Smiling. Get an action shot. Stop <laughs> it. Hey, show us your cat. <laughs> I can't see it. Can't see it. That's the point. <laughs> oh, Bob. Snap on man. Snap, snap on, on guys man. here. Time for <laughs> snap on man. Find your checkbooks, boys. Yeah. All right, we got everything plumbed up. We got so we got to put some fenders on here. It's gonna be in the next video, but uh, we're about ready to back this thing out and let it rip and see what happens. Cross our fingers, it works. Probably have to add some more oil to the system. I'm pretty sure on that because this thing's gonna suck up a bunch. But we'll uh, get her fired up here and see what happens.
Huh? Go under axle truck. Look at that. That goes down low enough. Oh yeah. Take the truck off the ground. Pretty cool. What? Got uh, extension up there. Boom, bub. That thing goes way up here. What do you think, uh, record driver? Huh? We can we can pull Mason out of the ditch now. Oh, we'll put a cable on it. We can add that cable on there before you get stuck. That other boom goes plumb outside the shop too. The extendo one out of the boom. Just think we could dig Mason out of trees now. We could. Yeah. That one up there literally reaches out past the shop. Our outriggers are all the way down. They're just barely touching, but when we let the air off. But this goes down far enough. It's pretty wicked, ain't it? Uh -huh. I had more movement in it than what I thought. R Robo. Robo. Robo, we just got to tighten those bolts up in there. Well, we kind of got the hydraulics figured out, I guess. I think we blew a winch seal. I don't know if that little, yeah, we did blow a seal out in a little baby winch. We don't really need that baby winch either. Uh -huh. It may like disappear between part two and part three videos. Nobody will ever know unless I just said it. it out, Tucker. <laughs> Thank you, Tucker. Jeez. Cap some plugs and we'd have been done. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that baby winch is never going to get used anyway. No. So that's like a, what is that, thousand pound winch or something? It's basically to drag winch cables from a trailer and stuff, but yeah. um, with these boxes and stuff on here, I don't think they'll ever use it. So we'll probably take it off. But, so we're going to figure out what switching valves to go between those and the big ones or something. We had to block off the big winches to get these to work, so I'm thinking probably valve. We got some deciphering to do, but this video is getting pretty long, so we're going to wrap it up. 
boring. We got a lot of boring <laughs> stuff to do. That's. But uh, next video to come, we're probably going to make some fenders. We've got some toolboxes to mount up here and uh, get everything tweaked and working. We've got an air conditioner for it. What else we got for it? We got a big flashy light bar for it. And uh, what? Oh, we got some remote controls for the winches up here. All kinds of good stuff. So and that's going to be in a lot of your hands because we're going to be going on vacation. Oh, oh crap. Well, yeah, dude. <laughs> this thing ain't ever gonna run. But uh, yeah, we've got to make some fenders and stuff up here, help them out before we head out of here. So hopefully, you guys like the video on the old record truck. We're uh, we're getting there on it. So I'm pretty impressed with the reach and stuff it's got. That's for sure. The guy could do some damage with that. You know how high we can pick your lawnmowers up? Yeah. Maybe, maybe we could just grab hold of something and just jerk it up off the we ground need and to. carry it around. We need to for sure. Just show that through town, just hanging up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that truck gonna? We should go flatten some tires or something so we can tow a truck. Hey, bub, <laughs> throw it in the ditch! <laughs> throw it in the ditch! <laughs> hey, he waved at you at least. He won't honk oh. his horn. But uh, anyway, we'll be back with a uh, third video on this truck, finishing it up. And uh, maybe we'll find something that's stuck we can pull out. So we got a lot to do. We'll see you guys next time. Appreciate you watching.